Hi, Theater Productions. Today I am going to be showing you how to complete your first show assignment. So we've spent the last couple of weeks just kind of going over like basic theater things and reviewing, and now it's time to go ahead and work on our show. And so um, let's get started. I'm gonna share with my screen with you all so you can follow everything that I'm doing. Um, I do wanna say one thing that um, now that we're working on the show, it is extra important that you make the effort to um, log in to our lives during class time. Um, of course, I cannot force you, I cannot require you to do so. Um, and I know, you know, just like regular school, there will always be times where you will miss or things like that. Um, but especially now that we're working on the show, it would be really beneficial for you guys to um, you know, hear what we're talking about in class and doing the lesson along with us. So I just want to remind you of that. Um, but yeah, so when you open up your form, it should say Theater Productions Intro to Penguins Day 1. Um, Penguins is going to be how I refer the shortened version of our show title because our show title is pretty long. So we'll get to that in just a second. Um, of course, before we begin, we are going to do our top three questions, email, class period, name. And so um, theater productions, the class periods are second period or sixth period. So go ahead and choose whichever period you belong to. And then your last name, comma, first. Oops, I was doing it wrong. And like I've said before, remember doing your name this way, filling your name out with your last name, comma, first name, it helps make it easier for me to put y'all in alphabetical order and um, grade you all faster. And so you get your more accurate grade quicker if you do that. So please write your name, last name, comma, first, just like it says on my Bitmoji picture. Our first thing we're gonna do today is we're gonna play a Kahoot. Um, and so even if you're watching this video and doing this outside of class time, you can go ahead and click on the Kahoot and you can still do it. It's like a challenge Kahoot. So you can still do it even if we're not, um, even if we're not doing it. And so um, you will enter your name. Of course, remember, make it appropriate for school. If I see any inappropriate nicknames, you will not get credit for doing it. And so as you go through, it's going to allow you to do the Kahoot on your own by yourself. And so the first one is going to be um, this question. All of the questions are going to be, ooh, you turned down the volume here. All of the questions are going to be opinion based. So I'm asking you, what do you think? So for me, when I was in school, my favorite class was yeah, they are. And so I am making this video early before anybody has played this Kahoot. So that's why my response is the only one. Um, when you guys answer, you'll be able to see the chart of how the rest of the class responded. Um, there are 10 questions. So when you're ready to go to the next question, click next. And you're going to answer all 10 opinion questions for your warm up today. Once you are done, you will tell me what you did if you played live with the class or if you um, played it using the challenge link. And now we're going to get to our play. So um, what I want you guys to do, your first activity is to open up a copy of the script. The script can be found on this Google Drive link right here. So when you click on it, it's gonna open up to our play which you can see the title right here. The Curious Case of the Pop Star and Her Penguins. It's a comedy, meaning it is a humorous or funny play um, written by an, a playwright named Tyler Dwiggins. And so as you go through your script or if you look back on your assignment first, you are supposed to read scene one today on your own. So that's independent reading. Um, scene one by itself. I'm not requiring you to read the whole play. Um, eventually you will get to know the whole play and read it, but um, 
you know, I'm not, I'm not requiring you to do that all at once. Um, we have some copyright rules here. So just, you know, those things are important to be aware of. Don't scan it. Don't duplicate it. Don't send the script to anybody who is not in our show. Um, and then you'll see our cast of characters. You can see there's quite a few characters in this play. Um, and they all have, you know, they're written as boy or girl. Um, but there are alternate names so that any person, male or female, um, or anything in between, <laughs> can play um, any character. And we'll just change the names. There's not really anything um, in the play that, you know, means they have to be a certain gender. The only one that has to be female is Jessica, the pop star. And so these are just some notes from the author, just things to be aware of as you're reading the play. And then when you get to scene one, it's on page six, see down here, you are reading scene one. And so it says scene one. And see, it's very short. See, there's scene two already starting on the same page. So scene one is just this very, very short little chunk right here. Um, this is, this is all the text that you see on the screen right now. That's all of scene one. So go ahead and pause this video if you need to and take some time to um, read over scene one. Once you're done reading, your knowledge check question is going to be, what is the major problem of the play as it is described in scene one? So that's asking you, what happens during scene one that sets up the major problem or issue for the play? And so you can talk about what characters we heard from um, and what happens in the play. Once you're done with your knowledge check, you're gonna go on to our um, next activity for the day, which is going to be um, a plot assignment. And so based on that short scene one that you just read, you are going to create a movie poster, a drawing, or some kind of other visual um, item, poster, picture, that shows what was your initial problem in the play. So what is the big problem that the characters now have to try and solve? And so if you've made it this far, hopefully you've read the play already. And so I'm gonna give you an example. So this is my poster that I made. And so I'm setting up, um, kind of letting the audience know what happened in scene one. And so we're asking the big question, will Jessica be alive or dead? Where is she? And what happened to the penguins, the penguins that are in the title? Um, I also asked some more questions here. The, uh, the idea is, you, is um, you want to use this assignment and think to yourself, okay, if we were getting ready, which we are, we're getting ready to present this play for an audience, what, how would we catch them? How are we gonna use scene one to grab their attention and hold on to it for the rest of the show? And so that's what you're trying to show in your visual creation, in your poster, or whatever it is that you are making for me. You can make, um, I made this on Google Slides, um, just using different text and colors and shapes. Um, you guys can use whatever medium you would like to. Like I said, you can draw and take a picture of it. Um, you can use Google Slides or any other, um, any other program you'd like to use basically. And so once you are done creating your poster, your visual image, you're going to click add file. And um, it will ask you what you want to upload from your drive. You will have to upload whatever it is that you are doing um, into Google Drive first before you upload it and turn it into this assignment. Um, and so I will add a video right here underneath showing you how to upload something to Google Drive. And then your last thing you're going to do today for your exit ticket is make a prediction based on that little short scene that you read today. Make a prediction about what will happen in the show so far. What do you think is going to happen next to our pop star and her penguins? Once you are done, you are going to go ahead and click submit. 
and then you are done with your first show assignment for the day. Remember, um, if you are a part of theater productions, eh, this is an assignment for everyone. Um, it doesn't matter whether you want to be on the tech crew or whether you want to actually um, act in the show. Everybody has to do these beginning assignments, getting to know the script. So um, that's it for today, you guys. Uh, if you have any questions, remember you can always reach out to me on Remind, Google Classroom, email, Instagram, or um, just pop in on one of our live sessions and ask a question. Um, I am here if you need help or if you need some ideas on what to do with your visual image, um, let me know and I'm happy to help. Uh, that's it for today. Uh, remember, today is a great day. You are in charge of you and every day is a new day to try your best. I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.